clinically isolated syndrome is when someone has symptoms that are related to um, a lesion in multiple sclerosis, so a relapse of multiple sclerosis. Um, and they have to be symptoms that are quite typical for multiple sclerosis. So an example would be an optic neuritis, that would be so inflammation in the optic nerve, that would be really common. Um, or perhaps what we call a transverse myelitis, so that's inflammation in the spinal cord. So they have to have symptoms that go along with that. And also importantly, when we see them, and examine them, they have to have signs that are in keeping with inflammation in that part of the central nervous system. So they have to have typical symptoms, typical signs when we examine them. Um, usually these symptoms come on subacutely, so over perhaps hours, days, few weeks. Um, so that would be very typical for MS. Um, and also important, they've got to last more than 24 hours and that they're not in the context of an infection or a fever, um, and that they're occurring in someone who doesn't have a diagnosis of MS. Um, however, if they then go on to be diagnosed with MS, that would be their first relapse, their first clinical attack. So that's essentially what clinically isolated syndrome is. Mm -hmm.